So you guys finally accepted me. That's good. Oh yes, you did hear me right. Injecting disinfectant. That's the cure for the coronavirus. Injecting it. If you can't take it that way, you drink it. Either intravenous or through the mouth. Uh, either way, it'll work. I knew the Brits would take to me. But I've had a call from the US. They want me to go back there. I've got to poison the nation. I hear that bars have done a good job over there of trying to clean it up. Well, I'm coming back. I've got my bottles of Domestos, Bleach, you name it, they're all here. In fact, I picked up quite a few brands from this. Get a load of this. Okay, I picked them up on British ads. Not bad, even if I say so myself, from uh, someone from a different continent, uh, praising up the Orient your country. Not bad. Anyway, I'm bringing all these products back with me. I believe it's good for you guys. Look out, 300 million people, here I come. Uncle Donald, Uncle Donald won't let you down. <laughs> Why are you coming back here? They don't want you. They don't. They don't want you. They don't need you. We're fine as we are. Hey, Boris, I'm coming back. No question about it. No, I'm coming back. You don't get a say in this, okay? I'm coming back, and I've got a gallon of Domestos bleach for you. You'll be really healthy, bud, by the time you leave that place. Believe me, you will, okay? Just look at these brands I picked up. Take a few moments, enjoy, guys, and take your pick. Work out which one you're going to take when I get back to the U.S., okay? These guys, this is all waiting for you. I'm bringing the cure back. I don't think you sell it in quantity over there. I'm not sure. I don't recall ever using it in my bathroom. Do you guys? Okay, okay already. I don't expect an answer. Shut the hell up, okay? That's what's coming back to you guys. I'm bringing gallons and gallons of it back. So if you're running out of the U.S., don't worry. I'm bringing it back from Britain. You guys look forward to a cure. We found it. Hallelujah. Okay, this is good. Now, I've told you guys I'd come back and you guys would get better. The rest of the world will call it poison. But hey, you know, you're going to be good. Don't you worry about the rest of the world. How can the rest of the world be right and us wrong, huh? We are the good old USA. I represent the good old USA. Okay? That's a fact. Okay? So you drink it. You take it orally. This is amazing. This is the cure. So don't worry. So either way, they call it poisoning. Hey, I'm just using the term poison. Not really. That's not really what's going to happen. You guys are going to be better. You'll see. You wait and see. Okay? It's all good. Uncle Donald is coming back. He's coming back. Okay? We're, 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 we're fine as we are. We don't, we, we don't need your help. We're, we're good, aren't we? We're so... I'm Frightful things have happened over here since you've been away, Donald. Frightful things. Um, and it's absolutely unnecessary for you to even think about setting foot on this continent ever again. In fact, the people are very, very happy. Aren't you people? You see, you hurt for yourself and people don't want you to bail you back here. Um, as you stay away. But, but don't poison my nation, please. Do not poison the British people. Uh, they're lovely people. They're innocent. They've done nothing to you. They don't deserve any harm from you. Okay? I've got no design on these people, okay? I'm coming back to my people, and that's a fact. Hey, stop using the bleach on the bathrooms. They need that for themselves. Hey, do you guys have syringes? It's okay, it's okay. Uncle Donald's bringing back 40 million of them. Hey, don't tell the NHS. They don't agree with this. In fact, the NHS, well, you know, they're curing people over here. Ever heard of that curing people? But we don't do that in the US. We want bottles of bleach, bottles of drain cleaning, things like that. That's what's going to help our people. Not the hospitals. Oh no. Oh no. And by the way, you guys are going back to work in about 10 days time. Okay? So get the hang on it. That's Donald Trump. Over and out. But, 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 don't I get a say? He's gone, guys. He's gone. He's gone. I, I didn't even get to say goodbye. It's absolutely, it's, it's crazy. Um, well, it looks to me like Uncle Donald might be coming back. Am I redundant? I'm redundant. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh my God, what's going to happen? Has the U.S. president lost his flame and mind here? Why is he taking disinfectant back to the U.S. public? I'm saying to myself, thank goodness, the other 400 countries in the world have got more sense than to even entertain an idea of injecting disinfectant or drinking drain cleaner. I say, God bless America. Well, they need more than God to help on this one, I think. What do you think, Doris? Well, I, I, to be honest, he's coming back and uh, I have no say in the matter. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to uh, um, handing the reins over of, uh, I'd say, hands of power, but I'd say, basically, it's not the hands of power. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's lunacy. It's true lunacy. You hear? Absolute lunacy. Why is he coming back here with his drinking disinfectant and an old and sunny sort of chemically induced cleaners which have no bearing on the human, on the human psyche? Well, what, what's going on? Is he a madman? Oh, yes! <laughs> Um, yes, yes, of course, he's a man. I forgot that. Of course he's mad. Well, that's it. Uh, I have nothing more to say. Over and out. <laughs> well, I think you're right there, Boris. He's a bit of a nutter, but we don't have to worry about it. Your kingdom and my place over here down under, we're looking after it quite well. I feel for the American public, though, don't you?
But I've cleaned them up as best I can. I can't do any more than I've done, not in the time that we've had. But had I been here longer, I'd have given them a whole lot more of my uh, intellect and um, brought them up to a level of the, the British public. And also, obviously, the Australian public as well. But, um, you know, these people are lovely people. I don't deserve a, a, an incompetent monster like that man trashing their lives uh, the way he has for the last number of years. And I'd say the way he's going to continue. But having said that, they will start drinking, drinking and injecting themselves with disinfectants and all of a sudden they're chemical-induced bad substances. Uh, I don't say he'll be ruling in for much longer. He'll have wiped out the damn nation. Um, but anyway, I've got to go. Uh, 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 that's it. Uh, it's spare, spare. You, you, you take care down there, down under. All right? Bye-bye. You too, Boris. All right? Stay well. We'll catch up on the hotline some other time when you get back to Blighty. All right? Hey, what the hell is this? You guys ridiculing me? Why, for God's sake? Why? Why? I'm a nice guy. I do good things. You guys put me in power. I, what the hell? I don't deserve this. I don't deserve it at all. This is all wrong. This is so wrong. Guys, don't you think? Oh, shut the hell up. You guys don't know nothing. Okay? You know nothing.